hey guys uh, so in today's video we are going to discuss about how you can plan for your retouches like uh, you know before i start any of my retouch i always uh, you know mark the things up that i would like to change uh, so in today's video what i would be discussing is uh, how i you know plan my retouches so let's get started I already have my note layer on i have some markings done on my picture this is my final image i'll show you my original image turning off the note layer so this is my original image and this is my edited image let me just zoom it in okay so this is this is my edited image and this is my original image i have done a lot of things over here this is basically a two hours retouch i have spent exactly two hours on this retouch already we have the note layer on so you can see the points that i have marked for my retouch let's start with the basic points uh, as you can see this is a birthmark that she has so depends on the image if it's a commercial edit i would definitely remove all the birthmarks but if it's a edit where i need to keep the identity then i would be keeping the birthmarks so i start from the fit screen view on the fit screen view whatever the problems i see i would start with them first and then i'll zoom in and you know uh, go more in detail so from this if i see I'm gonna use my mouse over here and a black brush just to show you the problematic area that I will be working on. So you now this definitely is something visible from this distance. Then there are some uh, impurities, some veins and some lines over here. So these are the areas that is visible clearly from a distance. Like from the fit screen view, I can see this problems already. Uh, I would also like to shape up the ears, right, only here over here, then this extra hair over here, the shape of the neck I would consider, alright, so from the distance I think that's pretty much it, now when I zoom in I would find a lot of more problems because when you zoom in you can see the image uh, more in detail so you can see I have problems over here, I have some of the texture issues over here, alright then some of those lines I'd also consider working on the lips especially this area this brighter area you see over here other than that all the tiny corrections on the skin so see this normally you know creating a note layer normally takes around five to seven minutes for me because I see the entire image in detail uh, like I zoom it to 100% and see also some I, sometimes I zoom it to 50% and see depending on the uh, image itself and the retouching I'm considering the time I'm sp uh, considering to spend on this retouch all the factors matters to decide this so this extra lashes this uneven lashes everything is going to get under consideration this lashes over here I would also consider the bros. I need to add some uh, hair over there, right? So that is also there. I would definitely, definitely consider all of this stray hairs over here. You see there are a lot of stray hairs, right? We wanted to uh, go with a little bit messy look. So otherwise we would have definitely covered this up during my makeup time. Okay. so all those hairs those stray hairs there are a lot of stray hairs so i'm not you know i'm not just marking all of them up but just you know what is a stray hair so all of the stray hairs i'm going to uh, consider in that i'll also consider this hair a little bit all right not I, i'm not gonna remove them completely i'll consider this area also okay so same way uh you know even the colorization you know the colors if you see her face is more yellow this portion is more yellow this is more red magenta this is again yellow consider all of this area under the color correction i think that's pretty much it for this image uh, obviously when i'm gonna do my uh, in detail editing let's say if i if this retouch is something where i can spend three to four hours then i'll zoom it in more and find more areas to work on uh, this kind of note layers they help you create a you know a game plan for your edit i would say so before you start your retouch you should create them this layers will be there forever 
uh, till you delete them obviously you would just put it up as a top layer and turn it off whenever you need that you can turn them on they will remind you uh, if you are missing any uh, edits before you finalize the retouch uh, so i'd really consider creating a note layer and spending five to ten minutes on them uh, rather than missing out some particular area to edit uh, anyways uh, this is kind of my very first thing in the workflow of retouching uh, there are a lot of other things that we do but all of the things that we do are going to happening as per our game plan i hope you enjoyed this tutorial uh, and i hope you learned something new that you are not doing uh, and you will start doing now and i hope it will help you with your retouches anyways guys thanks for watching this video this is a friend signing off for now thank you